hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make uh, this very cute little puppy so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need two kinds of yarn the main color yarn which in my case I use the white yarn and uh, the nose color and the ear color which in my case I use the brown color and two safety eyes and then I used a crochet hook which is 3.5 millimeters okay and uh, for the yarn I used this kind of yarn it really doesn't have like a brand name I buy my yarns in wholesale so that's why I buy this it's this kind of yarn so let's get started so we're going to start making the arms and you're going to start with the brown yarn so we're going to start with the magic ring first and then we'll do six single crochets into the magic ring so we'll do one two three four five and six okay so now in our second row uh, we're going to do single crochet then increase and repeat all around for a total of nine stitches so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet and then I'm going to increase in the next stitch and then I'm going to repeat that again so I'm going to do single crochet and increase in the next stitch And repeat one more time so single crochet and increase okay okay so now in our third row we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of nine stitches Okay, so you're going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet okay and then you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around okay so single crochet Okay, and then one more time single crochet okay so after that uh, we are going now to change into the white yarn to start the fourth row so I'm just going to tie it over here or you can go you can um, just do a single crochet in the very beginning but I prefer to tie it like that and then I'm gonna put it on the inside okay so after that uh, for the next eight rows which is from row 4 until row 11 we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row okay so when you're finished with your arm it's going to look something like this as you can see uh, this is how it looks like so for the next uh, eight rows, do single crochet all the way around. And then when you're done at the end, you're just going to cut off the yarn and leave it long enough for sewing. And then after that, I'll show you how to make the other parts. So we're going to start with the legs moving up to the body. And we're going to start with the white yarn. So first we're going to do the magic ring. And then we're going to do six single crochets into the magic ring. 
So we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, and then I'm going to pull my my yarn. So then I'm going to place my marker. So I like using this uh, piece of yarn as my marker. So it's pretty convenient. Okay, so after that, uh, in our second row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat three times for a total of nine stitches. Okay, so I'm going to go into the next stitch and do single crochet. And then I'm going to increase in the next stitch. Okay, so I'm going to increase. Okay, and then in the next stitch, I'm going to do single crochet. And then increase in the next stitch. So increase. And then repeat that one more time. So single crochet and increase in the last stitch. So increase a little bit tight. Okay, so after we're done with that, now we have a total of nine stitches. Okay, so after that, uh, in the next three rows, which is from row three until row five, we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of nine stitches in each row. Okay, so you're going to do single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around. Single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around in this row and the next two rows. So I'll see when you're done with the fifth row so that we do the sixth row together. Okay, so after you're done with the fifth row, this is how it should look like. So now we're going to continue to the sixth row. And in the sixth row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase and repeat four times. And then we're going to have one stitch remaining. So we're going to do single crochet in the last stitch. So we're going to have a total of uh, 13 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet and then increase in the next stitch. And then we're going to keep repeating we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet and then increase okay we're going to repeat that again two more times so single crochet increase Then again, single crochet and increase in the next stitch. Okay, so we have one stitch remaining here at the end. So we're going to do single crochet in that stitch. Okay, so after you're done with that, now we have uh, 13 stitches. You can see how it's coming along here at the top. So for the next three rows, which is from row seven until row nine, we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 13 stitches. Okay, so you're going to do single crochet, single crochet, 
single crochet and then you're going to continue doing your single crochet okay so do single crochet all the way around in this row and the next two rows so i'll see you when you're done with the row nine and then i'll show you the next step okay so after you're done with the ninth row this is how your leg should look like so that is the last row of the leg so you're going to cut off your yarn like the way i did on this other leg and then you're going to make the next leg so when you're done with the next leg don't cut don't cut off the yarn because we're going to join the two legs together okay so make the other leg and then after you finish uh place stuff at the bottom and then we continue to the body so i'm going now to show you how to join the two legs together okay so to join the two legs together we're going to do a chain two so we're going to do chain one and chain two and then i'm going to take my other leg and i'm going to continue here and do single crochet all the way around so i'm going to do a single crochet okay and then i'm going to take my my marker and put it over there okay so i'm going to continue doing my single crochet all the way around so single crochet single crochet single crochet so continue doing single crochet until you get here where we joined and then i'll show you how to continue here at the chain two okay so after you're done with your single crochet so in the first leg we have 13 stitches so here where we joined with a chain two we are going to do a single crochet in each stitch so in each chain so we're going to do one single crochet and another single crochet so two single crochets so i'm going to go into the next chain and do single crochet okay and make sure they're facing the light the right direction so it because if not uh it's not gonna look good and then in the next chain also i'm going to do a single crochet so i'm going to go into the next chain and do sing another single crochet okay and then after that i'm going to continue into my into the other leg and do single crochet all the way around so we're gonna have 13 single crochet also in the other leg okay so i'm going to do single crochet one two three so continue all the way around until here again where we joined so we're going to have 13 single crochet in the first leg then two single crochet here we joined then again 13 single crochet and two single crochet over here so that will make it a total of 30 stitches okay so after we get on this other side of the chain okay we are going to go again and do single crochet and single crochet so two single crochet in uh where we joined so i'm going to do single crochet on the first chain and then on the next chain also i'll do single crochet okay single crochet until there okay so now we have a total of 30 stitches so we're going to continue to the next row which is the second row of the body and we're going to start by doing two single crochet then increase uh first okay so we're going to do single crochet one and then single crochet two and increase in the next stitch okay and then we're going to do four single crochet then increase and repeat five times okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then increase in the next stitch 
then you're going to repeat that again so for single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay so you're going to continue like that and uh, repeat again three more times so for a single crochet and then increase three more times and then now we're going to have two stitches left here at the end so we're going to do single crochet in the remaining two stitches so we have a total of 30 stitches I mean 36 stitches in this row okay so when you get to the end of the row you have two stitches left over here so you're going to do single crochet in in each stitch we're going to do single crochet and single crochet okay so now we have a total of 36 stitches Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in the next five rows, which is from row three until row seven, we're going to do single crochet in each round, in each row, for a total of 36 stitches in each row. So we're going to continue doing single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so you're going to continue doing like that all the way until you get to row 7. Okay, so after you're done, I'll see when you're done with row 7 and then we'll start the 8th row together. Okay, so after the 7th row, this is how it looks like. Okay, so now in our 8th row, we're going to start uh, by doing two single crochets first. So we're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two and then we are going to decrease one time okay so we're going to do an invisible decrease okay and then after that we are going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat five times okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and then we are going to decrease and then we're going to repeat that again so for a single crochet one two three Four, and then decrease okay so you're going to repeat that again uh, three more times until you have uh, two stitches left here at the end and for the two stitches left here we are going to do single crochet in each stitch so we have uh, we'll have a total of 30 stitches in this row Okay, so for the remaining two stitches here at the end, we are going to do single crochet in each stitch. Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, for the next five rows, which is from row 9 until row 13, we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 30 stitches in each row. Okay, so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around until row 13 okay and then we're going to start the 14th row together so as you continue remember to continue stuffing all the way because uh, we'll only have a few rows left for the uh, to finish up the body okay so after you're done with the 13th row this is how the body should look like so now in this row we're going to start joining the uh, the arms together so but first we're going to start by doing uh, nine single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five 
five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay, so after the nine single crochet, I'm going to pick my arm and uh, place it over here. And then uh, we're going to do for a single crochet the arm and the body together so I'm going to go into the first stitch of the arm over here and do single crochet uh, together with the body so I have to make sure like I'm going to the right stitch okay so single crochet one okay and then the next stitch two i'm going to do another single crochet together so single crochet two and then another one single crochet three So it's a little bit tight so single crochet three and one more single crochet the last one so single crochet four okay okay so four single crochet Okay, and then after the four single crochet, we're going to do 11 single crochet and join the other arm. So we're going to continue into the next stitch. Okay, so single crochet. One, two, three, four, five six seven eight nine ten and eleven okay and then I'm going to take my other arm and put it over here okay and then again I'm going to do four single crochets from the arm and the body together okay so single crochet one and then another single crochet the second one Single crochet two and then the third one three single crochet and then we're going to do one more single crochet so single crochet four okay so after that we have just two stitches left so you're going to do single crochet one and single crochet two on the remaining two stitches okay so that's where we started so this is how it looks like as you can see so it's quite good okay and then after that uh in our next row which is our 15th row we are going to decrease all the way around until the end for a total of 15 stitches okay so we're going to go into the next stitch and decrease and then we're going to continue decreasing all the way to the end so do invisible decrease all the way around okay and for those who don't know how to do the decrease that i'm doing so you're going into the next stitch front loop 
and pull through and go into the back loop of the next stitch and pull through and then you're going to pull through all the three loops together okay and then you're going to continue all the way around okay so you're going to continue decreasing all the way around until the end okay so after you're done decreasing now in our next row which is our 16th row and which is our last row of the body so we're going to also to decrease all the way around until the end okay so we're going to decrease And then you're going to decrease also in the next row okay so you're going to continue decreasing all the way around until the end okay so after you're done decreasing all the way until the end make sure you completely stuff the body and then after that, we're going to start making the head.